Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 38 of our... Is it 38? I think so. Of our Pokemon White version playthrough here on the channel. As you just saw, we had a little bit of a grinding montage to get ourselves ready for today's episode, because today we're heading into... Striaton City, I think, Jim, where Skyla is finally waiting for us. We did go meet her at the top of Celestial Tower in the last episode, and it is now time to get our... What's this, the sixth badge? Yeah, the sixth badge here in the Unova region. So we did get our team prepared. Now, we've had a bit of a team mix-up. Not mix-up, but switch-up, let's say, over the past little while here. Oh, um, hang on. We're gonna... Uh, we're gonna do this. One sec here. We're gonna take something. We're gonna give something. We'll be good to go in just a moment. All right, so starting off the team is our newest uh, newest catch, not newest addition. This is Witwicky, our Litwick, sitting at level 34 right now. Got the whole team to at least level 34. Holding the spell tag to power up ghost-type moves. He is, of course, our Litwick from Celestial Tower. He is Impish Natured, which is defense up, special attack down. Not perfect, but it's what he got. We got the ability of Flash Fire, boosting the uh, fire-type moves if he gets hit by one. And he has Flame Burst, Hex, Nightshade, and Will-O-Wisp. Next up is the newest addition to our team, but he's been around quite a while. We have Snapper, our Jotonian Totodile, at level 34. He does not have an item. I should consider giving him something, but he is a mild-natured Pokemon, which is special attack up, defense down. Torrent is the ability, boosting water moves in a pinch, and he has Waterfall, Dig, Ice Beam, and Crunch. I'm going to do a bit of a switch here in just a moment, but I'll show you that in, in a moment. Next up is our Musharna Sailor at level 35 from the Dream Yard here in Unova. She's holding the Smoke Ball for quick, wild getaways. She has a relaxed nature with forewarn ability. Moves are being Psybeam, Nightmare, Yawn, and Moonlight. Next is our starting Pokemon from this region, Seaward, our Dewat at level 36, holding the Mystic Water for powering up water attacks. He has a rash nature, Torrent ability just like Snapper, and Water Pulse, X Scissor. Grass Knot and Aqua Jet. I did replace Cut, at least for the time being, and gave him something super effective against those grass types that he is weak to, so that might come in handy. Although, Special Attack is better than Physical, but still, super effective could really help out. And, as we're going into a Flying Type Gym, Possible MVP right here, Medusa, our level 37 Onyx from the Sinnoh region, holding the Eviel Light, boosting up those defenses. She's a hardy Pokemon with Rockhead ability, the moveset being Earthquake, which won't help us, Smackdown, which actually will let Earthquake help us, nice, Sandstorm, and Rock Polish. Alright, so, do I want to leave with someone instead of Witwicky? No, we'll let Witwicky keep, uh, keep the active spot for the time being, but we are going to temporarily get ourselves the Shadow Claw TM. I'm going to replace Dig on Snapper. Reason being, I don't really think Dig is going to help us in a flying type gym, but I do have the TM for Dig, and I can reteach that to him at any I kind of don't like when they made TMs multi-use, because back in my day, when kids got off my lawn, you had to choose who to use each TM on, and it made it a big deal. You know, it was very important. Who who gets this one use TM? Nowadays, you can just use them as much as you want, and just go with that. So I will make use of the uh, the feature, the multi-use TMs. If they're here, they're here for everybody, myself included. Please take this fresh water. No intro this time. We're just gonna hand me some water. Okay, just between you and me, rock, electric, ice. Flying types have more weaknesses than people know about. Don't forget about... No, that's it. If you use Pokemon and moves of those types, victory is practically yours. By the way, to proceed in this gym, you climb in the cannons to move forward. Now, I know I trust this guy. If I didn't know him to trust him, I think he's trying to kill me. The cannons go up, down, left, and right. You can get in them from anywhere. Because, like, doesn't that sound like, hey, trust me, hop in this cannon, you'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Alton Pokemon Gym, the leader, is Skyla Certified Trainers, nobody. Alright. This is kind of fun. I like this gym, even though it is dangerous. Kids! Only try this at home if you've got a net. In fact, no, don't even. Don't even try. Oh, you know what? The net might be okay. See, I'm not dead yet. All right, where do I go? Oh, wait a minute. I got to do a little twisty turn here. Check this out. We're going to hop in this way. Go off to the other side, which is actually this way. 
I gotta remember how uh, I am looking on the webcam. All right, let's go. What do you think about the cannons? Isn't it great that you can experience how flying Pokemon feel? Next, experience the feeling of losing a Pokemon battle. I have felt that way before you were programmed. That does not sound good on me. But it's true. I'm not going to deny that. Worker Cliff. Does it make sense for a flying type guy to be named Cliff? I mean, I guess Cliffs are high up. I mean, they could be low. I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. Will-O-Wisp. I don't know if that's going to help us. The Air Slash is going to do a mm, little bit, but we do miss. We're going to now Flame Burst. <sighs> this is going to be a long episode if they're going to keep doing this, but I do have something to talk about. Now, I want to get your feedback on this. Let me know what you guys think. If you play Pokemon Go, you know about the gifting feature of our friends list. Let's go, Snapper. Let's go. Now, you can send a gift to a person, and when they open it, you will gain friendship level up. So, like basically, hang on, I want to focus on this. This is kind of risky. I'll talk about my thoughts in a moment. Oh, you're going to taunt me? Good thing I have nothing but offensive moves. Eat up Ice Beam. Let me chill out there, Tranquil. Aw. So I don't have Aqua Jet. This is more waterfall. Stop wasting time. Now, I want to talk about stuff, but I don't want this thing to suddenly sneak out and land some crazy move on us. Thank you. Go away, Tranquil. All right. So you send a gift to someone. That's all well and good. As soon as they open the gift, your friendship level will increase. Another Tranquil. Now... I've been experiencing a number of people on my friends list that pretty much every single day, like I'll basically, I'll send gifts to everybody on my friends list from top to bottom, from best, you know, the highest level friend to the uh, the lowest level, in that order. And I'm trying to spread the friendship level up because I want to be able to invite as many people as I can, or at least have as many options available as I can to share my EX raid passes with, because I figure if I can help other people get... Uh, Deoxys, or whatever the next eventual EX raid boss is going to be. I want to be able to do that. I like being able to help out like that. So, that being said, I send out all the gifts that I can. But I've noticed there's some people who will almost every day open the gifts that I send out. Yet, I have not gotten a gift from some of these people in about a month. And it's not really that big a deal, because you don't gain a lot of items from the gift. You can get, you know, sometimes get some good stuff, but it's more the principle of the thing. You know, I'm thinking we're almost at a certain level of friendship, and you're going to gain experience points for hitting that level. You're also going to have possibility of being invited to EX Raid Battles. So, it now, tell me if I'm wrong on this, but I feel like it's not really fair that I'm out there doing the legwork, getting the gifts, sending them out. Some people are just absorbing the gifts, not doing increase the level up, other than opening a gift, which is how it levels up, but they're not sending anything back as a thank you. Snapper, no. You might have seen this in the grinding. He tried to evolve. He ain't evolving. I like Snapper as is. Totodile, you will stay. All right, so that being said, I'll be stronger if I fight with a little while thinking about Pokemon. Victory will come my way. We need to switch Pokemon. Uh, no, we're going to heal up with Wiki. Let's grab ourselves a Super Potion, wherever they may be. Right here, we only got 14 left. What we're going to probably do, clear out all the trainers, then head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and come on back. Well, first of all, buy more potions, and then come on back in. All right, so anyway, basically, I'm getting us to the point where... I'll be within like a, about two or three days of hitting the Ultra Friends level with people. And if I have not gotten a gift from them in quite some time, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to let them take the initiative to start building that friendship. You know, because like I say, I'm putting the legwork in, getting the gifts, sending them out every day. I'm not getting anything back in return. I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, whining and stuff like that. If I come off like that, I apologize. But I figure... Since I'm already level 40, I'm going to really gain nothing from boosting up the friendship level. But, they will gain something. They'll gain some experience points. They'll gain access to potential EX raid invites. And I guess, you know, technically, I could be getting those invites as well once I hit best friend, uh, 
people, yeah, best or ultra friends with somebody else. But I'm not that concerned myself about getting EX raid invites. You know, I, I, I like fighting for them on my own, doing my raids at my local EX gyms and stuff like that. I'm not really dependent on, or I'm not trying to be dependent on anyone to send me invites. In fact, I don't even really think about it, you know, the fact that I could be invited by somebody. It never enters my mind. So anyways, I figure getting people up to just a couple days before hitting that ultra friend level, and if they want to push us the extra couple days of boosting our friendship level, they can send me a gift. I don't think that's really unfair, but let me know if you think that's, you know, being petty, because in a way I think it might be kind of petty, where it's like, I don't know, I've been giving gifts this whole time, suddenly I'm going to stop. But, I don't know. On the other hand, it just seems like, you know, it's just one-sided. It's just that's just not right. If it was if it wasn't even me, if it was somebody else that I knew of, a friend of mine maybe they were doing this and never getting anything back, I would totally understand that they choose to stop sending the gifts. So anyway, that's my little rant about that. It's it's a game of a community and stuff, and you know, it just seems like there's the occasional person that's just taking, taking, taking. I don't wanna be attracted. I wanna switch. I want to land a side me. All right, at least it's going to fall asleep, though. We did hit it with a yawn. And, woo, we got the confusion, of course, as it falls asleep. Now, even if we didn't get that confusion, you know, who do we want to switch to? I want to switch to Medusa, but she does not need the experience. But you know, if we didn't get that confusion, they're going to wake up immediately. Chances are, they're going to stay asleep so they do not hurt themselves, but I don't think that's going to matter because one water pulse drops this thing at its current HP. I don't know that for sure. I'm just going on blind faith. Blind it is. Blind as a woobat, if you will. Alright, not bad, Brady. Even though I lost, I will just prepare and jump again. I didn't even know what he said the first time. I was rambling about gifts. Trainer, do you remember what you were told at the beginning? No. Nah. The cannons go yada yada yada. You can enter from anywhere. How about that? I'm good at imitating him, aren't I? Not really. All right, let's get us another super potion. As I say, we're gonna need to go buy some more of these. All right, continuing onward. Which side do we want to jump into this cannon from? Well, I mean, clearly there's only one way for this one. It's weird he would say that here because there's no other way to go. I mean, I see what they're gonna do. See this cannon here. I can either go back to the right, where he'll remind me, you can go up, down, left, or right, B, A, select, start, or I can instead go from the bottom, which we're gonna do, and continue further into the gym. So, okay, I see what you're doing. Pilot Ted, with a ducklet. Would you stop using these water types? I wanna get w Wiki doing some fighting. All right, so ducklet, we're gonna switch out into... Would Snapper be good? I'm actually gonna go to Sailor. Let's let Sailor get some power going on. So we're seeing level 32s from these gym trainers. I'm gonna assume Skyla might have like a level 36, maybe 37 as her ace. If that's the case, we're not that far behind. Plus, we do have Medusa with the old Smackdown Earthquake combo, which could come in handy. Please do not flinch us, that will be annoying. Ooh, almost gonna knock it there. Double side beam does the trick, unless we flinch out, which, nah, we're not gonna flinch out. What are the odds? That's right, the odds were actually a one and three, I think? What are the odds of a flinch off an air slash? <gasps> Sigilith or Sigilith. I still don't know. All right, gonna... You don't have that ability to bounce the stuff back, do you? Please do not. Thank you. Actually, I wonder, does magic bounce reflect yawn? I'm gonna assume that it does. All right, so we get the light screen and reflect up. Fortunately, we're not going to rely on direct damage. We're going to go for the Nightmare. At least we're going to get one turn of 25% damage on a Sigilith over here. Who else out there, raise your hands down in the comments, thought this might have been some sort of uh, evolution, or at least some sort of relation to Unknown? One second. Did you guys see that? This happened before. Okay, Google. Sigilith ability, Gen 5. I want to see this. It seems like they have an ability that prevents conditions from affecting them. That's their TMs and stuff. I don't want to know that. 
Sorry we're taking time out of the uh, video right here, but I gotta know. Wonder skin or magic guard? What do those do? Wonder skin. Oh, makes status changing moves more likely to miss. Okay, so it does not get affected by status conditions. I th er, yeah. What am I saying? Wait, this is not a status condition. This is nightmare. I don't know. We're gonna go for it again. It's not gonna wake up, fortunately. All right, can we land it? Thank you. We just get one turn of the nightmare. So now we know. Can't rely on weird conditions on this thing. But I guess since yawn does not really check accuracy that I'm aware of, I guess we're good to try to land those. Don't. I woke up. I'm gonna go for synchro noise. Why exactly? All right, this is gonna take forever. How are we getting lucky with these confusions? So since the light screen has fallen, let's just stay in. I was going to switch out to Medusa and go for the Smackdowns, but I think we're doing good. We got them to hit themselves. I mean, Reflect being up doesn't really do a lot, but interestingly enough, I think we're doing okay here. Aw, oh, snaps out. Goes for the Reflect first. Okay. Should have went for the light screen. Could have saved you. As such, one more side beam and you drop. Aw, oh, no confusion on that one. Come on. And what? Just what? But yeah, again, doesn't this seem unknown-ish? I mean, I guess just because it has a single eye, and it's a black form around that eye. That's the only real relation, I guess. I mean, not really, because the, the word glyph sounds like hieroglyph, and that's kind of what the unknown were like when they were first introduced. Altitude, altitude, altitude is dropping, and whatever else he said, you can pause the video and find out for yourselves. I became a pilot, making the dream of my younger days a reality. The weight is quite comfortable. Really? I don't know what you mean. Let's go into this cannon from this direction. I think I used to make this mistake all the time because you don't see that gray bar letting you know what way that cannon shoots you. Now we're going to go this way, take on this pilot. This may be the last pilot. Or at least I should say the last trainer. Alright, let's go. Target lock acquired. I will shoot you down with my flight technique. This man sounds like a fighter jet pilot. I always thought it would be kind of cool, if not, you know, now that I'm an older... You know, more grown up mature person, if not dangerous, to be a fighter jet pilot. Of course, I love things like Star Wars. Like, I actually had a game. Also, show of hands in the comments, how many of you folks have ever played a game for the old, I think it was like an old DOS game, actually. If you don't know what DOS is, I'm old. But anyway, uh, it was a uh, Star Wars X Wing Flight Simulator game. Let's. Do I want to try Snapper? Yeah. I'm kind of scared this thing could air slash and get some good damage off. But it was a flight simulator game where you take over the role of a rebel pilot. And you could fly X-Wings, Y-Wings, and A-Wings later on. You know what? I'm going to switch immediately because I don't like the damage this is doing. Let's go into... I mean, I guess Sailor. So it was kind of cool being in control of the, the ship like that. You know, it's basically your standard dogfighter flight simulator kind of thing. And they had other games come out later. They had TIE Fighter was a sequel. And of course, who can forget Star Fox on the Nintendo systems? You know, that was a really good one too. So I took an interest in stuff like that. And I've seen movies like, for example, Independence Day with Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, and Bill Pullman, and... What's the other guy's name? The Father. I don't remember. Doesn't really matter. But fighter jets always seem kind of cool. We can depend on a move that hits without fail when it counts. For example, Aerial Ace and Swift are both surefire moves, as is Shockwave, which I checked. None of our team can learn that. I was hoping to come in here with a nice electric type attack. We don't have that. We do. Snapper, take a potion. Super potion. Here. Uh, wait, we can take a super potion, please. Now, we might hit level 35 before, uh, by four. Ooh, we take on the gym leader. I can't even get up the stairs. One last trainer to take on. I think that clears the way to Skyla herself. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose. Well, you can and you probably will. I don't want to say you definitely will. Because being overconfident leads to defeat. Arnold, swoop back. I was going to say, don't send in one of them pesky water types. This still is not amazingly perfect. But the wiki might have a chance here with the Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, doubling your special defense. We land Will and Wisp, though. Good spot. I can go for the Hex, which is going to be doubled in power. 
and still super effective. Will it make a difference, though, as you go for a flinching air slash? Well, we survived. We didn't flinch. Ooh, that's some good damage right there. One more burn takes you down, so let's go ahead and heal. Make sure we do not faint, if we can help it. And of course, we mine some more super potions back at the old PC Pokemon Center. The, sounds like I said the politically, politically correct Pokemon Center. And boom, the burn does the trick. Learn your lesson, kids. Burns hurt, buckle up for safety. Level 35? Nice stuff. Arnold is down. No way! What part of my fighting style? Something, something words. Alright, we are ready, I think. Check after check after check. Complacency leads to accidents. Look up complacency in the dictionary, folks, if you want to know what that word means. I really don't know. I guess I'm kind of uh, complacent when it comes to knowing that word. See? I don't even know what that means. Alright, now this is... Oh, wait, I remember this. That's kind of funny, though, the fact that you can just get smashed into a wall like that. Now, Skylar, we're not ready yet. Do not fight us. I want to head back. I've got to heal. And watch your head. I want to duck. And we're okay. All right, so we're going to hightail it back, all scared-like, back to our Pokemon Center for a heal up and potion reacquiring. But next episode, we got to... Get off the bike. We have a clear path to Skyla. We're going to go after our sixth Pokemon League badge here in the Unova region. Because, of course, the only way to stop N, the king of Team Plasma, he's the king, right? Is to get all the badges just so we can walk into the Pokemon League. Because he's going to be there. I don't know why the authorities won't be able to stop him. You know, it's not like we can't tell them that he's coming and prepare for it. But... Only we can stop him. I guess because we're supposed to be the other chosen hero or something. Some sort of crazy nonsense. But anyway, that's it for today's episode. No, never mind. Our first episode today. Another one coming in a few hours' time, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, of course, as always, feel free to let me know with a like down below. Thank you for watching, and if you want to watch some more Pokemon White, there's a link in the description to the full playlist. You can go check out and get caught up. You can also check out some more videos on the channel. There'll be some intro, sorry, some links during the outro, not intro. But you can also subscribe for some more regular Pokemon content from Professor Chaz. And you can now join as a member as well for a monthly subscription fee. You can get yourself some access to some pretty cool giveaway type thingy, some exclusive uh, bonuses and rewards for joining as a member. So I'll have a video on that probably closer to November because that's when we're going to have those uh, bonuses starting to kick in. But if you want to follow me on other social media, I've got links for Instagram, Twitter, and Discord in the uh, description as well. So you can check all those out and follow Professor Chaz wherever he goes. My timer is up. We are now done for the day. Well, the first part of the day. Another episode in a bit, as I said. But until then, Professor Chaz is signing off. Thank you folks once again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.